Hi everyone, welcome back to Fecam GNTH Histology Slide Series. I am Michael Absire, and today we will be going through the slides of respiratory system. We start with the slide of the trachea. Basically, the most prominent feature for identifying the slide of the trachea is the presence of hyaline cartilage. As explained previously in um, episode 4, where we said that the hyaline cartilage is mainly identified by its homogeneous and translucent extracellular matrix, which has no visible fibers in it. Just as you can see in our slide, see how homogeneous and then translucent it appears. So merely seeing a structure showing the hyaline cartilage, one of the first things that struck our mind is that we are dealing with, we may be dealing with a slide of the trachea. So further features that can be used to identify the trachea is the presence of the wall layers that are deep to the cartilage. And then these wall layers of the trachea include the pseudo-stratified columnar epithelium, which contains the normal pseudo-stratified cells, and then also contains some goblet cells that appear pale in this slide. These are the, these pale cells are the goblet cells. Just beneath this pseudostratified columnar epithelium is the lamina propria, this one, and then underlying this lamina propria is the submucosa that contains numerous seromucinous glands, which can be identified here. We can see this is a gland, this is another gland, so these glands are what characterizes the submucosal layer. So then the next layer is now the cartilage ring layer. So from lumen outward, we have the pseudostratified columnar epithelium that is on the basement membrane then we have the lamina propria and then the submucosa and then the cartilage layer this is another slide of the trachea you can identify the cartilage ring as hyaline due to its homogeneous appearance and then the translucent nature then going into this is the lumen then just after the lumen, we can identify the pseudo stratified columnar epithelium and other parts of the wall of the trachea. So if you are able to identify the cartilage and then a portion of the wall that is towards the lumen of the trachea, we can be quite sure that, okay, fine, we are dealing with the trachea. Here is another slide of the trachea. So we identify the cartilage as this. You can see how prominent it is with the isogenous cell groups and other features of the hyaline cartilage. Then we can identify this as the pseudo stratified columnar epithelium, then the lamina propria, and then the submucosa that contains the submucinous glands. Okay, here we have the cartilage this is the cartilage and then this is the other part of the wall so even though we are not really identifying this part of the wall like the pseudo stratified columnar epithelium very well but so far it is towards the lumen and then this is the lumen and then we can see that it has the cartilage and then a part of the wall towards the lumen we are quite sure that okay fine this is the trachea so here we have this you can see this is the cartilage then the other part of the cell because this is the lumen. So what are the reasons for identification of the trachea? One is the presence of incomplete cartilage ring or C-shaped ring of hyaline cartilage. Then the presence of pseudo-stratified columnar epithelium. Then presence of seromucinous gland in the submucosa. And then you can also say maybe if they, are, they ask you for others, you know, say, presence of the trachealis muscle. Here we we'll have the slide of the lungs. Now the lung tissue is mainly identified by the presence of alveoli and then alveolar sac. So this appearance is actually like a in form of a football net just like what we see in the adipose tissue. But this time the football net appears to be torn in different parts. And this torn part of the football net is scattered all over the slide, as you can see here. So let's say that this is a part of the net, and then you can see that it is torn. So this is another part, it is torn. So this torn part is scattered all over the slide. So that's what characterizes the lungs. Now, the wall of those perforations of this football net, like this, 
let's say this is a perforation now the wall of the perforation which represents the wall of the alveolar sac you can see and the alveoli so these are the walls so in contrast to what we are going to see in the adipose tissue the wall these walls actually are highly cellular i mean these are the type 1 and type 2 pneumocytes of the of the lung so they are totally different from what we see in the adipose tissue also in most slides of the lungs the bronchial as you can see here this is a bronchial appears to be prominent so most slides of the lung you see one or two bronchial like bronchioles like this one now we are seeing one bronchial here so this is a bronchial and then this shows that okay fine we are dealing with the slide of the lungs so we can see the net appearance but this time this net is torn in different parts you can see how torn it is in different parts compared to what we see in the adipose tissue so this shows that we are dealing with the slide of the lungs this is also the slide of the lungs now here we can see the alveoli and the alveolar sacs appearing like this torn football net so we can let's take this part for example you can see okay this is these are the perforations that makes the football net but you can see how torn it is so see that one perforation is linking to another like one space linking to another in the net so you can see how torn it is so this is this torn appearance of the football net characterizes the lungs i mean this represents the alveolar sac and then the alveoli now so we can also see here uh, this as the a bronchial so you can see this as a bronchial showing in the slide that even confirms further that we are dealing with the lungs another slide of the lung tissue here we can identify the alveoli and then the alveolar sacs so this is an alveolus then this is another this is a sac this is an alveolus this is a sac so you can see that this alveolus and then the sac they appear as this football net that is torn you can see how it looks turned around the slide so this is characteristic of the lung tissue irrespective of this part that seems much more cellular but because of the pathology that seems to appear on this slide but we can see that this part that appear as normal lung tissue we can identify the alveolus and then the alveolar sac very well we have here another slide of the lungs. Here, one of the most prominent features is the presence of a bronchial. Then the other part of the slide, we can identify the alveoli and then the alveolar sac. So you can see this is an alveolus, then an alveolar sac, an alveolus, and then an alveolar sac. We can even identify here the alveolar ducts, which forms part of the alveolar tree. So you can see the scattered torn football net appearance of this particular slide giving us that this is the lungs now what are the reasons for identification of the lungs one is the prevalence of type 1 pneumocytes in the alveolar wall two presence of type 2 pneumocytes in the alveolar wall three presence of the alveoli the alveolar sac and then the alveolar ducts then the presence of the respiratory and then the terminal bronchial Another slide of the lungs, even though it's a bit pathological because of the appearance of numerous cells in the alveolar wall compared to what we have in the normal alveolar wall, it still takes the appearance of the torn football net as you can see here and then we can even identify some bronchial in the slide. You can see this is a bronchial, this is another bronchial, then this is one. Is this also a slide of the lung tissue? As you can see, it is not. This is a slide of the adipose tissue. You can see how regular the perforations of its football net appearance looks like. Uh, you can see uh, compared to what we have or what we encounter in the lung tissue. And then there is nothing like tears or torn appearance here and there. It's just the perforations appear with its regular polygonal shape compared to what we see in the lungs so this is where we are going to stop for today for any contribution and question leave it below in the comment section and then try to like and subscribe
Thanks for watching.